folks, good afternoon and welcome to Jag Lives. Hello to you all, hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And this is the day before New Year, which makes it New Year's Eve. And I'm having a wee stroll up uh, up along the, uh, just off the, the main Kingsway here. And we're gonna go and look at this new uh, sports center they've kind of built up here. I'm not sure if it's finished yet or whether it's done. I, haven't, I don't really know what's going on, but I've always meant to come up here and folk are talking about it saying it's this awesome structure. So I've just gone past that one there. There's no cars in it, so it might be closed. So I thought I could maybe just nip into the car park and just have a little stroll about. Anyway, we shall see. A nice avenue walk up to the, uh, to the main building anyway. A nice glimpse of it through the trees here, folks. So RPC stands for Regional Performance Centre for Sport. There it is. The deadly black ice, folks. Be careful. Folks, oh, it's the deadly black ice there. Just while I'm flying on my length there, my heart sort of leapt through my mouth there. Oh, done it again. Well, let's go onto this path here. Hopefully, that'll be a bit. Goodness me, man. Right. <laughs> so, uh, yes, here we are at the Royal Performance of Sports Centre. Oh, I've said that wrong, haven't I? The Royal. Oh, I don't know. We'll try again. The Regional Performance Centre for Sport. That's it. They go on the Holland. So that was my version of some sort of dialect there. But uh, yeah, there's black ice, man. It's, uh, it's really dangerous. You almost saw bro going his length on Christmas Day. So, <laughs> so I can hear some shouts and things. So I think there's some sort of football match maybe going on. Yeah, so it's great. This used to be um, just open sort of ground. And I think there was some sort of track here before. But they've just sort of really got in here and started to develop it. And we've got all these football pitches in here. And uh, sort of they can play hockey and all sorts of things in there. But I'm coming out to these outside pitches to see what's going on up here. Man, look, as you can see, it's got this very futuristic design. Quality stuff. Right, here we are then folks on the walking on the, the fuzzy felt fuzzy felt astroturf surface here. Yeah, it's a nice surface this man, I must admit. They've also got uh, rugby posts up here. Um a goal post and hockey pitch uh, sort of goals as well. Excellent. Yeah, as I said, there just used to be a couple of tracks here. I think the Hawk Hill Harriers and the So we can still touch the goal post. Oh yes, still got up there. Um just be some sort of uh, bicycle things used to just fly around the track, but uh, I think they've got an indoor one here now, just around the back there. Looks awesome, man. So, yep, reinvestment happening right here. Goals on wheels. Oh, folks, I was almost in there. I got a look in there, uh, which is quite good, but um, the guy kind of looked funny at me there, so I thought I'd better not film. Folks, now I think I've stumbled upon the uh, looks like the old track here, mate. Oh, 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 what's that ice again? Good, right? Lord. Once again, sliding on the dangerous black ice, right? I think this is the uh, this looks like the the velodrome without its roof on, if you know what I mean. Yeah, this is the uh, is this the old track or the the new track? I'm not too sure. I think it could be the the newer version of the outdoor track. I'm sure the tracks used to be here and over that way. Yeah, I'm sure of that. Right, so this is the, uh, here it is, look, excellent. Now I'm trying to see if there's any way to get onto this, uh, this, this track, but I don't think there is, folks. And if I did probably go on it, then probably somebody would come out and say something. But uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do. Right, there's no way on folks unfortunately it's all barricaded up and closed so what I'm going to try and do though I can see a 
and you track over that way as well. So try and head over there and there's some sort of memorial. But it's just going to be, be getting over this black ice. It's going to be dangerous. Right, here we go Very anyway. Gingerly across this this tarmac here, folks. I just don't know what's going to happen. And so here we are. Don't really do the shot putts and all that sort of you know, twirly around stuff. Anyway, so here's the, the track, folks. Look. That's such a pity bro isn't here, man, as he could have had a 100 metres <laughs> race. Um, now, that would be an awesome thing to do. You could have a put your bets on, please, folks, and see who's going to win. Yeah, so here we are, right. Excellent. Now, the sun's obviously not got to this part of the, the track yet, so you'd be running really fast, and all of a sudden you come to this part and just slide all over the place. But, uh, wow, excellent. There we go, folks. Now here's something over here. What's this all about? This is like, uh, this is where they, as I said, the twirly about stuff. This looks like where they do the, so will that be the, the shot putt thing? And the, that, that one over there where it's got the protector bit, that'll be where the uh, the hammer, sorry, where, where is it? Where's it gone? It's over there now, where they do the hammer and the, uh, the ball and the chain thing. So let's see if we can get, over to that one. Not this pit here, man. What's this? Goodness me, look how deep that is. Crikey. Wow. Behind me there must be the uh, the pit for the, you know where they do the, what's that long one called? The steeplechase. Is that the race where they run around for ages and ages? And then they have a, a water jump they have to jump off. I didn't actually realise it was uh, so deep. So coming over that, sploosh, be right up to your knees. Actually, it'd be up to my up to a pelvis, I would think. Crikey. Now, I don't know if I can get along here. Well, no, I can get along here, but I don't know if anybody's going to come and get me into trouble because uh, I've only got these boots on, and you know what they're like. They're going, oh, that's going to ruin the track, which you can see their point if they did come and say something to me. But however, we shall endeavour and we shall try and get to the the, uh, the whirly about sports structure at the back there. Oh, it's just over here. Four by. 100 meters relay start. Well, it's got all the sort of the, the different starts 75, 70 meters hurdle. And so there's quite a few of those along there. And the start of the, the steeplechase, there it is. So there it is. Well, folks, never in my life did I think I would be inside one of these cages. It's quite awesome being inside here. This could be another one of these Dundee bucket list things, you know. Get yourself inside there. Oh, there's a warning. These gates, the, these gate nets should be lowered at the end of every day's session. So there's a warning there just in case. So, yeah, this is for the one, the hammer. And the, uh, there's another one, the, the discus and the, um, and the, what's the other one they do? I think that's just it then, is it? The discus and the hammer. Yeah, because, oh, this went down to low power mode, the disaster, low power mode. Yeah, so this is the, uh, is that the ring that, I don't know what that's there for. Is that, that's something, is that to protect that? That's what that is, that's just protect this. So that's where they go round and 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 round Excellent. Well, there we go, folks. Oh, now watch the bar there, Jag. Careful. All right. Change pad. War memorial here. After 89 years, this memorial stood in the ground in a grove of oak trees. Right, folks, so here at the, the Mains Parish War Memorial, um, where this was relocated from, I think its original site was maybe just down by the Dichty a little bit there. I don't actually know where it says where it was moved from, but um, it's quite a it's rare one. It's quite an unusual uh, example of a war memorial, this one, because it's got its four freestanding Corinthian sort of pillars and uh, central domed roof. A few other examples of a freestanding memorial 
of this date are thought to include a decorative fountain. So, um, has that got a fountain in it? I think it's just a decorative one rather than a than a working one. No, I don't know. Oh. I don't know where this was actually moved from, folks. As I said, I'm not too sure. Um, now, over the years. It's all just sort of the, the stonework started to, to, to deteriorate. I can't seem to speak today. Deteriorate, and uh, I think vandals have been at it as well, folks. It was a shame, setting fire and stuff. But uh, yeah, so brilliant. There it is. The Mains Parish freestanding war memorial. Brilliant. So, about the original location there, folks. The setting within a Sylvan woodland location composed of trees and an adjacent stream of oaks, the Elysian fields, which uh, okay, so I didn't actually see where it was, where it was from though. 